parents and learners. I'm Teacher Mitch. Welcome back to another video lesson in Mathematics 6. This lesson is for week 7 and 8 of the third quarter, which is about surface area of solid figures, milk base, learning goals, visualizes and describes surface area and names the unit of measure used for measuring the surface area of solid or space figures. Finds the surface area of cubes, prisms, pyramids, cylinders, cones, and spheres. What is surface area? Surface area is the sum of areas of all lateral faces and bases of a solid figure. To measure surface area, we use also square units. We use square millimeter or mm squared, square centimeter, cm squared, square decimeter, dm squared, square meter, m squared, square kilometer, km squared, square inch, in squared, square foot, ft squared, square yard, yd squared, or square mile, mi squared. Surface area of cube. First, we have here the figure of a cube, whose side measures 5 meters. To get the surface area of the cube, we are going to use the formula surface area equals 6 times side squared. 6 times side squared, which is 5 meters times 5 meters. 6 times 25 square meters. The answer is 150 square meters. This is the surface area of the cube. Surface area of rectangular prism. We have here the figure of a rectangular prism whose length measures 5 centimeters. Width measures 2 centimeters and height measures 3 centimeters. To solve for the surface area of the rectangular prism, we have the formula surface area equals 2 times length times height plus 2 times length times width plus 2 times height times width. To simplify, we are going to use the formula surface area equals 2 quantity length times height plus length times width, plus height times width. 2 times length times height, 5 cm times 3 cm. Length times width, 5 cm times 2 cm. Height times width, 3 cm times 2 cm. Equals 2, 5 cm times 3 cm. 15 square centimeters. 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters equals 10 square centimeters. 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters, 6 square centimeters. Equals 2. Add 15 square centimeters, 10 square centimeters, 6 square centimeters. The sum is 31 square centimeters. Then 2 times 31 square centimeters, the answer is 62 square centimeters. This is the surface area of rectangular prism. Surface area of triangular prism. We have here the figure of triangular prism, whose height measures 4 centimeters. Base equals 3 centimeters and length equals 7 cm. To solve for the surface area of triangular prism, we have surface area equals length times perimeter plus 2 times 1 half base times height. To simplify, we are going to use the formula surface area equals length times perimeter of the triangle plus base times height. Length is 7 centimeters. 
To get the perimeter of the triangle, we are going to use the formula perimeter equals side plus side plus side equals 3 plus 3 plus 3. The perimeter of the triangle is 9 centimeters. So we have 9 centimeters. Then plus base times height. Base is 3 centimeters and height is 4 centimeters. Multiply 7 centimeters times 9 centimeters. The answer is 63 square centimeters. Multiply 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters. The product is 12 square centimeters. Then add 63 square centimeters plus 12 square centimeters. The answer is 75 square centimeters. This is the surface area of triangular prism. Surface area of square pyramid. We have here the figure of a square pyramid, whose base or side measures 5 inches, and slant height measures 6 inches. To get the surface area of the square pyramid, we have the formula surface area equals 4 times 1 half times base times height plus side squared. To simplify, we are going to use the formula surface area equals 2 times base times height plus side squared. 2 times base times height, we have 5 inches times 6 inches plus Side is squared, which is 5 inches times 5 inches. 2. 5 inches times 6 inches equals 30 square inches. 5 inches times 5 inches equals 25 square inches. Multiply 2 and 30 square inches. We have 60 square inches. Then add 25 square inches. The answer is 85 square inches. This is the surface area of a square pyramid. Surface area of cylinder. We have here the figure of a cylinder whose radius measures 2 decimeters and height measures 6 decimeters. To get the surface area of the cylinder, we have the formula surface area equals 2 times pi times radius squared plus 2 times pi times radius times height. To simplify, we are going to use the formula surface area equals 2 times pi times radius quantity radius plus height. 2 times the value of the pi, which is 3.14, times radius, which is 2 decimeters. Quantity, radius, plus height, we have 2 decimeters plus 6 decimeters. Multiply 2 times 3.14 times 2 decimeters. The answer is 12.56 decimeters. Add 2 decimeters plus 6 decimeters, the sum is 8 decimeters. Multiply 12.56 decimeters and 8 decimeters. The answer is 100.48 square decimeters. This is the surface area of cylinder. Surface area of cone. We have here the figure of a cone whose radius measures 3 centimeters and a slant height measures 7 cm. To solve for the surface area of a cone, we have the formula surface area equals pi times radius times side plus pi times radius squared. To simplify, we are going to use the formula surface area equals pi times radius quantity radius plus side. The value of the pi is 3.14. Radius is 3 centimeters. 
Then, we have radius 3 cm plus side 7 cm. Multiply 3.14 times 3, the answer is 9.42 cm. Then, add 3 cm plus 7 cm, we have 10 cm. 9.42 cm times 10 cm, the answer is 94.2 square centimeters. This is the surface area of cone. Surface area of a sphere. We have here the figure of a sphere whose radius measures 8 meters. To get the surface area of the sphere, we are going to use the formula surface area equals 4 times pi times radius squared. 4 times the value of the pi, which is 3.14, times radius squared, which is 8 meters times 8 meters. Multiply 4 and 3.14, the answer is 12.56. Then 8 meters times 8 meters equals 64 square meters. 12.56 times 64 square meters, the answer is 803.84 square meters. This is the surface area of sphere.